Just once again, this is not England. <laughs> uh, we are currently in Ireland. Eh, this is, Sophie's here. And we're in Dublin, and we got in really late last night, so we didn't record anything, because you couldn't see anything anyway. Um, struggled with the lock. <laughs> struggled with the lock. Uh, so far it's not that podunky. I was expecting it to be kind of podunky, and it was not. Um, but this is like the most podunky section we've seen, and it's still not that podunky, and most of it's like super city, metro. <laughs> How's your second donut, Sophie? <laughs> yeah. We, we went to a donut place. We were, we were literally walking across the bridge like, we want donuts, and we found a donut shop. We bought a donut, and we were sitting here just staring at each other because we wanted another donut. And we just got it. And I'm really excited. So many donuts. Brunch. Just brunch. We can do it. <laughs> So there aren't any people around right now, so I'm going to talk about what I saw at KFC. It's very important, they have a burger, but instead of being a regular burger, it's two pieces of fried chicken, and in between them they have like cheese and sauces and stuff, so the bun is made of chicken. And it's, I think it would be life changing to eat it, honestly, it, it sounds amazing. Yeah. Dublin, it looks more metropolitan than I expected. This is Trinity College. Trinity College. We don't go here. We don't go here. <laughs> this is too smart for us. <laughs> so we just did a free walking tour of Dublin and it just got out. It was super fun. Again, do the free walking tours. Highly recommend them. So much fun. So much fun. Here's Molly Malo. Molly Malo. She was a fish mongering prostitute. There's a song about her. And you're supposed to rubber boob for good luck. Apparently that's a thing in Europe because they did the same thing to the Juliet statue in Verona. But right, yep, she's rubbing the boob. What you do? <laughs> Back at Trinity College, we were trying to go to the Trinity College library because it's where the Jedi archives sort of are. It looks like them. It's really cool. Um, but we're back at Trinity to where we were earlier. There's a, uh, if you walk under that thing, it's bad luck if you're a student here. Um, I got the guy in our, our tour guide explained like what this ring means. You've probably seen it. Very popular ring. Um, but it's like the significance of wearing it. This, this way means single and ready to mingle. And the other way means stay away from me, I'm engaged. Or like, in love. Forever. So if you're trying to get so sad. <laughs> They're closed. It's really sad. We're gonna try to come back tomorrow. But we will come back. We will come back tomorrow. <laughs> Do all the, I'm gonna be I'm such a dork. I love Star Wars so much. But yeah. I'm so sad. <laughs> My number one location on this trip. <laughs> you got to see other stuff. I can't wait for a beer. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go try to find food now. I think. Definitely. Or something. Yeah, we're gonna find food. We had a bunch of donuts earlier. They were delightful. I love donuts. We're getting more tomorrow. <laughs> they have a Ferrero Rocher flavor and I have my heart set on it. I'm gonna eat it, so yeah. So we're currently trying to find an area called Temple Bar. It's the most like touristy area, but it's got like a bunch of like cute like pubs and stuff and it's really exciting and we're gonna try to find it. We were there earlier on our free walking tour. We found it. It's up ahead. Woo! This is the big bar we're going to. We're gonna try to get in it. It looks super cute. So we're currently in Temple Bar in Dublin. And it's really cute in here. We're like in this little outdoor section. <laughs> and it's super cute. We're not gonna eat here though because they only had like sandwiches and I don't want a sandwich. I want a party. I don't know. We're gonna find food somewhere else. But we stopped in here and it's really cute. So we just left that temple bar and what we figured out is Irish people are the friendliest people. They talk, they'll literally, you're just sitting there, this round person will be like, so you're from, where are you from? You'll be like American, they'll be like, I know that. <laughs> They're like, and, oh, we're one step ahead of you. <laughs> but literally like so many Irish people just like decided to talk to us and we were kind of awkward. Oh my gosh, it's a leprechaun. <laughs> No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I am not doing that. So we got this food. What was this called? Mutton 
and mutton and something. Fingers and mash. But it's, no, there's something very specific. Irish stew. No. <laughs> I know this is bangers and mash. This part. Yeah. And then this is Irish stew. It's true. Yeah, I'm right. And the Irish Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> he told me I was right. That was it. Good. Great. I'm excited. I just got a bag of potato. This right there, that is lamb. I'm slightly scared, but I'm gonna eat it because it's not a cow and it's gonna be okay. So we are currently on our way back to the Airbnb. We've been at a pub from, P.S. I love you, what was the pub's name? Whelan's. Whelan's, we went to Whelan's. Eh, not the best pub. It's a lot like any that you'd find like in London. Um, Temple but, Bar was definitely the best. Yeah, Temple Bar was a lot better even though the Irish guy there was like, oh, this is such a tourist trap. It's not a good yeah, pub at all. We liked, tourists, we liked it. It was a great tourist trap. I enjoyed it. Um, but we went there after we ate, and we're going back to Airbnb now. I'm probably gonna lay and watch Outlander for a long time, because that's what I do. It's what I enjoy. And then tomorrow we're gonna go walk around a little bit more. But that was our day in Dublin, yay. <laughs> so it's our second and final day in Dublin, and we are creatures of habit, so we're going back to the donut shop. I'm excited about donuts. I got more donuts. Sophie, what kind of donuts did you get? And I got Ferrero Rocher, Kinder Bueno, and Red Velvet, and it's really good looking. Just have to really quickly appreciate the fact that Ireland likes Halloween more than England does. It's more American, and it's beautiful. Found my boys like Willie. So we just got out of the Trinity College Library, which is where we had tried to go yesterday. And it's the place where the Jedi archives are, sort of. But it's really cool, it was really pretty. And we saw a really old book. Book of Kells. The Book of Kells. It's a pretty big thing here. <laughs> saw a real old harp. It's the original harp, I guess, of Ireland. I don't know. It was really cool. It was fun. Recommend it. It was a really fun room. Took a lot of pictures. <laughs> We're at Trinity College again. Because we keep coming back. Because what is there to do in Dublin? Trinity College. That's what's there to do. I like this uh, pub because it's Irish looking also. They appreciate the finer art of Halloween. Do you want your picture? Yes, I do. <laughs> just need to point out that they do play this music here. I just haven't been recording when it's playing yet. But it exists everywhere. They play it a lot. Only in tourist areas, though. Just tourist areas. If it's not touristy, they don't play jig music or anything like that. But they play it here. <laughs> Do you hear it? Do you hear the music? They are playing a song I knew a minute ago. I actually get very proud of myself whenever I'm walking past the Irish pubs and they're playing like their their folk songs and I like know a lot of them because special skills. I should put that on my resume. Do you want to have kept on moving Through the points that I need to prove And I lost the friends They needed losing So others are on the way The girls and they left inside Stolen dreams, yes, there's no denying And they traveled hard, sometimes conscious fly Somewhere we can win Let me tell you that I love you But I 
think about you all the time. I'll go where you found me. Now we go where you go. If we should become a stranger, no one would make me more insane. I'll go as we So I'm currently in the St. Patrick Cathedral. So it is exciting. So we left St. Paul's Cathedral and St. Gosh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm starting over. So we left St. Patrick's Cathedral <laughs> and we are currently heading back to our Airbnb to check out, but we're really tired. Really, really tired. <laughs> and, and I just want to go to sleep, but we have to give up the bed. And it's so hard because it's going to be such a late night. Like, about it. It's gonna be 3 a.m. when we get back, but it's fine. Dublin! <laughs> Dublin! It's really very metropolitan. Yeah. It's like $66 for a flight round trip. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. Um, and stuff here is cheap too, like it feels cheap. It feels really cheap. Yeah. Um, they didn't, will not sell you redhead merchandise, or as Sophie put it, paraphernalia. <laughs> I've looked everywhere. I tried my darndest not here. I don't even have like a large sunscreen selection or anything. Like there's no sun here. <laughs> there's no sun here. It rains a lot. It's rained like all day sort of, but just like sprinkling. But yeah. So that's what we've done so far. We're going to go to the Disney store later because I can't go to a city with a Disney store and not go to the Disney store. So I'm going to the Disney store in a story. Here we have the Jenny Johnson. It looks like a really old boat. Oh, they do guided tours. Do they do guided tours on it? Like you can go in it or will they like take off? That's what I want to know. Because I want one where they go sailing. I think going sailing in an old sailboat would be very cool. I feel like if you just got a tour on it, it would just be like when you do submarine tours, which are cool, but you don't go anywhere. You just crawl through, through a hole. So in America, in big city centers, you'll usually see like basketball courts in the middle of, of like a bunch of buildings, but in Ireland, it's, it's a bunch of football fields. So we just checked out of our Airbnb and we are heading to the airport, even though we're here, we're just going really early because we're tired. So tired. And we just want to sit around and use some free internet. So we're going to go do that and hopefully get on the right bus and hopefully they'll let us go through security early and yeah so that was our like day and a half of dublin very short but it's all you really need we saw a lot it's all you really need for like one city honestly i mean not london but like it's all you really like you need you can you can feel like you experienced it in a day and a half so yeah dublin yay <laughs>